Behind us is the Rossdale Generator, the oldest power plant in Edmonton. Originally, Rossdale burned coal to produce electricity. In 1955, they switched over to natural gas because of air quality and cost issues. But last year, Alberta's Energy and Utilities Board revealed that our natural gas supplies are in decline. So what's the next generation? Did you know that in 1921, Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize in Physics for discovering the law of the photoelectric effect? Basically, this is about turning sunlight into solar electricity. Now we have the technology to connect this solar electricity to our electrical grid. To learn more, we went to the top and talked with Dr. David Lewin about EPCOR's rooftop solar electric system. Back in the late 90s, we realized that um, photovoltaics uh, had a potential to uh, reduce energy demand, particularly in buildings like the one we're in today, or on the top of today. And uh, so we thought we'd, uh, we'd install a system just to test it and to learn from it. We find that there's enough uh, photovoltaic capacity here to supply enough electricity to run two floors of lighting in our building, which is two out of about 20 floors. The advantage, of course, is that, that uh, even on a day like today, uh, which is uh, really cloudy, and even with a little bit of snow on top, the, the system still operates. It is at a lower level, but it still operates. So that's one of the advantages. Um, uh, it takes very, very little maintenance. Um, that's another advantage. Uh, one of the disadvantages still is the capital cost. Uh, so um, this is one of the things that we wanted to uh, sort of learn from it. The capital cost in the dollar per kilowatt is still significantly higher than conventional electricity generation. But having said that, um, I noticed the capital cost has over the last 10 years come down quite considerably and more and more research is going on into uh, producing uh, photovoltaic panels like the ones here and that capital cost is improving all the time. The price of conventional electricity is going up and the price of solar modules is coming down. As a result, grid-connected solar power is growing at a rate of 25% per year worldwide. Our next story is about a retired City of Edmonton mechanic who is harvesting the sunlight falling in his own backyard to make electricity for himself and his neighbours too. I'm Eric Steeden, I'm 86 right now. I was interested in solar for quite some time and then it all of a sudden down on me, gee whiz. There's two or three solar outfits in the phone book, I'll see which one's handy. Eric's search led him to Gordon Howell, engineer and owner of the first grid-connected photovoltaic system in Western Canada. After he explained all his odds and ends and showed us different panels and whatnot, I thought, gee whiz, that's just what I want. There's no batteries tied with his outfit at all. Gordon looked at the layout of Eric's property and decided on the best design for solar access. I guess they studied it and they come back and they said, You've got a big yard there, we're going to put it in the yard between your garage and the house. And I said, go ahead. And that's the way it ended up. So then what happens to the electricity that's generated by the panels? That's tied in with a wire that goes underground through the basement in my house to what they call an inverter. And from the inverter, it goes to the fuse box and then that finds its way back into the grid if I'm not using power. If I'm using power, I get first crack at it. This is yesterday's reading. I only made two, two units from this time yesterday till today, because yesterday was wet, cold, cloudy, worse than today. We had the sun today. This here, two, probably come up this morning when the sun was out for a little bit. This is EPCOR's meter. It's not running at all. So what do your neighbors think? They've got no complaints whatsoever. In, in fact, the neighbors next door, they're glad. They're, they like the looks of it. <laughs> in the first 10 months, Eric purchased 2,100 kilowatt hours from EPCOR and generated 1,700 kilowatt hours of homemade electricity. He was able to use about half of this power and the other half was donated to Alberta's electrical grid. In episode two, 
We will continue our conversation with Dr. Lewin about the prospects for EPCOR's customers becoming their suppliers. And Gordon Howell will tell us about his photovoltaic system and the power of efficiency as a new energy source.